We talk about average velocity, average speed all the time, but what do you even mean by the word average? Like, what does it really mean? So I made a video about this about six years ago, and I want you to tell me how helpful it is. Let me know in the comments. I owe you an explanation of why we call them as average speed and average velocities. So let me give an example. I buy 50 candies and I store it in the refrigerator. So there are 50 candies and I store it and that's the situation today. I have a roommate who loves candies. I'm pretty sure he's gonna go and eat some. But after five days, so this is a day equal to zero. Just like how we say time equal to zero, we can say day equal to zero. I find out after five days, this is day equal to five, all the candies are gone and I haven't touched any of them and there were no other people who entered in our room, okay? So what did, what, what happened? Well, I would say in five days, my roommate ate 50 candies. Let me write that down, okay? So my roommate, my roommate eats, so this is what my roommate does, he eats 50 candies in five days. So what is the rate at which he's eating candies? Well, if I divide them by 10, I would see, um, sorry, divided by five, I would see 10 candies, 10 candies, oopsie, there's an N, candies per day. So that's what I would assume, that he ate 10 candies every single day and that's how he was able to finish off 50. So what do I do? Well, I get extremely angry and I go to my roommate and I start blasting at him and I say, don't you have any sense, man? Eating 10 candies per day, that's not good for your health. And by the way, they're my candies. You know what the roommate would say? Roommate says, uh-uh, I didn't do that. I never ate 10 candies per day. He would say, this is what he did. On the first day, so I'm just gonna write the days here. So this is days. On the first day, he ate 30 candies. Whoa. Okay, then he got a stomach ache and something like that. And then the next four days, so I'm gonna just note it down over here. The next four days, he ate five candies each. That sums up to 50, right? 10, 20, 30, 50. And that's how he ate in total five days, 50 candies. That's what actually happened. So think about it, what does this number represent? How did we get this number? We just found out how many total candies he ate divided by how much total time he took to eat those candies or that's that's what we saw. We did not see the, the details that happened in between. We just looked at the whole five days, the situation over the whole five days, okay? So what does this number represent? He didn't really eat 10 candies per day. So this number represents an assumption that we did. So if we make an intrinsic assumption that he ate every single day the same number of candies or in other words he consumed candies uniformly then to consume 50 in five days he'll have to consume at this rate. Are you following me? So this is under the assumption so we assume uniformity okay when you do a calculation where you assume something is happening uniform, that's when we call it as an average value because in reality, it, it may not have happened that way. Let me give you another example which you may be familiar with. Let's take a class average. Suppose there are uh, four people in a class, very short class, a disappointing class maybe. Anyways, there are four people and they take a test and they take a test out of 10 and one person gets 8, one person gets a miserable score of 2, another guy gets 0 and one more fellow, okay, even he gets a 0, okay? So this is what we get. So what's the total score? The total score is 10, okay? Now, if we had no clue what scores they got, and if I asked you how much score each person got, well, you would say the following. Total score is 10, but there are four people, so we'll divide 10 by four. So we'll divide this by four, and you get 2.5. So you would say 2.5 score per person. If I did not give you this detail, okay? And clearly that is wrong, because in reality, you see what's going on. This guy is good, so he got eight. Another guy, I don't know, he did something horrible. Maybe these two guys were absent or something. But anyways, this is the reality. So what does this represent? Well, again, we made an intrinsic assumption 
that everyone got the same score. So we assumed uniformity again. So you see what average value is? When you're calculating something, if you assume that it's uniform, then we call that as average. So it may be or it may not be uniform in general. Okay? So let's go back to the previous case that we saw and let's try to understand why it's called as average values. All right, so let's go back over here and let's look at this again. We found out that from zero to eight seconds, uh, let's, let's look at this one. It's much better to understand. We found out then from zero to 10 seconds, the velocity, average velocity is minus 0.2. Again, why is it called average? Because we assumed that he's going from here to here, he's changing his position from here to here uniformly. Can you see that assumption? That's why you're getting a small value of minus 0.2 because you're assuming that he's taking 10 seconds to move directly from here to here. So if you were doing it uniformly, he would have gone my 0.2 in first second, 0.2 in the next second and so on and so forth. And that's why you're getting minus 0.2 but you and I know that he really didn't do that he actually went fast towards the right then he came fast backwards but you see what's going on it is an assumption that he's traveling uniformly that's why this is called as an average value let's look at the speed as well the speed is saying he's traveling at one meters per second so do we know that he is actually traveling in every second one meter no we don't know that. Maybe in the first second he traveled all the way till here and the next second he got tired and he traveled a little bit. You have no idea what happened. Just like how in the previous example we had no idea how he ate the candies but we assumed that he ate it uniformly. In, 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 in reality he did not. So since there is no information given to us about what's going on in between we have missed that. So we are going to look the whole pitch, the, we're gonna look at this as a whole and so we don't care about what happened in between so we're just gonna assume that it's uniform and when you do that assumption we end up with an average value that's why it's called as average velocity and average speed so long story short <laughs> so long story short when you hear the word average velocity and average speed it doesn't really mean he's traveling always at that speed. It, he could be traveling a little bit faster than that for some moments in time and slower than that for some moments in time. But when you average it out, when you look at the whole picture and if you assume uniformity, then that's the number you would end up with.